Breaking new information tonight about a church in crisis. The Charlotte Diocese now expected to wait several more months before deciding whether to release the names of priests accused of past sexual abuse. This comes as the Pope himself intervened during a meeting of the powerful Catholic leaders in the country. Defender Nathan Morbido discovering that a request from the Vatican will now delay action here in Charlotte. Nathan. That's right, the nation's Catholic bishop started a week-long conference in Baltimore today, planning on voting on two sex abuse response proposals. But at the urging of the Post, they postponed both of those votes, and the impact will be felt here. Good morning, brothers. A week-long Catholic bishops' conference focused largely on the church's sex abuse scandal took an unexpected turn in the opening moments today. At the insistence of the Holy See, we will not be voting on the two action items in our documentation regarding the abuse crisis. A last minute delay at the urging of the Pope until after he and the world's bishops hold a special meeting to discuss clergy abuse in February. We're waiting for input from the bishops as to the, the best way to, to go about this. That postponement comes as the Charlotte Diocese looks to the conference for guidance about if and how the bishop here should release its list of accused priests linked to Charlotte. It's a little disappointing. We had hoped to, to get that input this week and get, get to work on making a decision. Bishops in other cities across the United States have already decided. Atlanta last week joining those choosing to make their lists public. If it brings any comfort to survivors to see the name of their abuser listed, I would be happy for that. The mounting pressure follows a call from victims for transparency and accountability. There are more people that have been molested, yes. But as much as they would welcome a published list of predator priests, they're the least transparent di diocese in the country. Sex abuse attorney Seth Langson predicted today the Charlotte Diocese will never do it, saying the list would be too explosive. We want to do this one time. Back at diocese headquarters, spokesperson David Haynes says the church is taking an abundance of caution, considering every detail before outing anyone. You have uh, situations where allegations were made after um, a priest died. He has no way to um, defend himself. Our investigation previously identified at least nine priests linked to 15 allegations here. Some of those people linked to religious orders that are connected to the Diocese of Charlotte. The diocese now looking to the bishops' conference as well to try and figure out if those people should be included on its list as well. Reporting live, Nathan Morabito, NBC Charlotte. All right, Nathan, thank you.